Controlled airspace can be identified on an aviation map by the blue lines. There are dashed blue lines for Class C and Class D control zones. This is airspace that reaches the ground. Military control zones remain in the magenta. This is because the military treat these as restricted airspace. And all other controlled airspace will be by the solid blue lines. This is airspace that does not reach the ground. Here we can see Perth Airport and we can see that the airspace here is Class C airspace with the surface being the lower limit and the upper limit being 1,500 feet. We can also see another layer of Class C airspace with a lower limit of 1,500 feet. Moving away from the airport, we can see that as we get further away, the base of the airspace rises. The solid blue lines here indicate Class C airspace with a lower limit of 2,000 feet and Class C airspace with a lower limit of 3,500 feet. The airspace below this limit remains uncontrolled airspace. In Avplan, to find the airspace that we're operating in, simply double tap on your location and a list of airspace vertically will come up. On the left hand side is the lower limit of the airspace and on the right hand side is the upper limit of the airspace. We can see here that we have one lot of controlled airspace which starts from the surface. Perth Control Zone. Any area within that blue shaded line is Class C Controlled Airspace. We know when we're operating within controlled airspace, we need to operate on the appropriate frequency. To find this frequency, simply double tap. This time we're looking for the green box, FIA. We can see here that we have Perth Centre on 135.25. Anywhere within the green shaded line operates on Perth Centre 135.25. So frequency boundaries are indicated on an aviation map by the green lines. Another type of controlled airspace is Class D airspace. We can hit, see here for Jandicott, we have Jandicott control zone. This time it's indicated by a D. Class D airspace is run by a tower. So here we have Class D airspace from the surface to 1,500 feet. When controlled by the tower, we need to know the tower frequency. To find frequencies for an airport, single tap on that airport, select the airport, select comms, and a list of the available frequencies will come up. In your operations manual, you will also have a list of contact numbers for the air traffic control units. And if in doubt, you can give them a call to find out the appropriate frequency.